Welcome back. It's been over a year. It's been a very, very long time. I have to apologise for that. Um, kind of things got in the way. So before we kick everything off, welcome back to the channel. All you people who uh, kept an eye on this as it went through its, um, its birth, its rebirth from ice to EV. Um, what can I say? Yeah, the last 12 months have been very busy. Hence, that kind of went down the priority chain. But, um, yeah, last 12 months, why the delay? I guess like everyone, there was, um, you know, during COVID, we all picked up new um, hobbies, be it growing veg, be it trying to teach your children um, when they're not in school, be it learning the banjo. In my case, it was converting this to electric. Um, which then led me to doing a complete 180 in my career. So May 2020, if you remember, I uh, I had been previously, I was telecoms for 22 years and then jobs all wrapped up during COVID, threw myself into this for the goods of six months or less, time flies. Um, and then, yeah, after this got running, that got um, noticed by um automotive company here in Ireland, who now I work for. So, yeah, complete 180. That's been brilliant. Brilliant ever since. So, um, yeah, so that's kind of what happened. And after that, things kind of like just got busy on that side of things. And then life started picking up. Kids started to be dropped around everywhere and suddenly everyone wanted to make up for two years of lost time by having dinner parties and all that type of thing, which is brilliant, which is great. So, um, so yeah, <laughs> sorry. So, why am I suddenly reappearing on the web? Um, I was challenged. Uh, a lot of people were asking like, what's with the Audi? And I went, oh, you know, it's down the priority list. It'll be done at some point. It is running. It just, as the way I explain it is, by the time I got this thing running, I was running on empty uh, from energy, from uh, money, from everything. And anything that was done on this was really DIY, like it, as it should be. But it was just, it was, it didn't have the, um, it had a lot of things missing from it that I wanted to make right from a charging perspective, starting, running, all that, um, user experience, you know, screens and that. So I didn't have any of that. And to drive it was kind of, yeah, it wasn't up to scratch. Um, technically it worked, but I couldn't tell what charge, what the state of charge was. I couldn't see this, that, the other. It was, just wasn't happy. The BMS, if you've watched all how many episodes, you'll notice that I've had a few BMS issues. So. BMS was one. Just after Christmas, I was contacted by one of the uh, members of the uh, Open Inverter Forum, who's uh, also in Dublin, and part of the hacker space kind of um, collective, if you want to call it that. So a lot of people get to get together, all everybody who wants to sort of find out how to do things, how to electrify your bike, how to get your vacuum cleaner to clean up after itself. Um, automate getting your kids out of bed and also show and then show the public oh, this is what you can do complete automation home automation stuff but also in this type of thing so um, how to electrify your bike kind of thing so um, Mark contacted me and said um, we're gonna be doing this open day for everyone on the 26th of February in Dublin uh, Tog Hackerspace I'll put the link in the description down, down below and uh, if anyone wants to come along it's gonna be um, yeah, open to everyone on the day. So he said, uh, have you got a few photographs of the Audi? I'd like to put them up there just to show what people can do. And it's like, yeah, yeah, no problem. He said, just as long as it's only photographs and you know what the car. And he goes, oh, that's a good idea. He goes, uh, can you bring the car along as well? Uh, so I was like, go on, okay. Take that as a challenge. And, uh, and that was it. I was like, okay, to kick it off, uh, what do I need to do? And again, it's the first thing you do, just throw everything out of board, whiteboard it. That's it, whiteboards, your gift. So that's what I did. Well, I started, do, I did a few jobs, but doing a few jobs over like before Christmas and all that to kind of 
just to get get working on things that were bugging me on the vehicle. So the first thing I did was start uh, fix the start sequence. Beforehand, it was like um, uh, the switch on the dash, which was switch on VCU. So the VCU come to life, so it know what was going on. And then when you go into ignition, it would go into um, pre-charge and then main contact would be thrown. But now, got rid of all that. So I've latched the, uh, the crank part of the sequence. So ignition, everything comes on. And then the ECU, VCU, um, does the pre-charge and main contact control once you go crank. So that's all done now. It's brilliant. So that was done. Um, all the cells, because I took the rear pack, as you can see, took it out, went through it, actually took it all apart. There's a bit of here, there's a bit of footage there um, of me taking it apart and putting it back together again. I replaced two or three of the cells. I got some cells before Christmas. So a couple of the modules which were kind of like not great out of the two pouches in it one pouch was gone for whatever reason the other wasn't so i completely rebuilt the pack so that's all fully a1 as is the front I did the same for the front so as i did that balanced all the cells to the power supply went through each one brought it all up to the same within a couple of millivolts of each so that's all done that's all packaged away um the next thing I want to do is uh, automate the charging. Charging, again, is very manual. You have to pop the hood, switch on the 12 volts, plug your charger in. It was just not great. So I'm going to be using uh, Simp Charge from um, Simp, like same people who brought you Simp BMS. So it's a brilliant little module. And again, it just, when you plug in, it reads the CP and PP and then activates everything that you want to activate throw contactors, uh, switch on 12 volts for the pump and the charger. So the simple little thing that's going to be going in there. Again, I have to put that in the next three weeks. Is it three weeks? Yeah, it's about three weeks to the 26th. So um, other things include, I'm um, going to run cam, a uh, proper cam network from, from the back, basically from charger up to the VCU. You can take into account the current, uh, the, um, the current sensor, uh, what you call it, the inverter, the whole lot running the network. So then throw it all onto a ODB port and through a Wi-Fi um, wireless ODB reader, then I'll be able to put it onto, read it onto a screen and then see everything basically through in charge mode or discharge mode. I can see um, everything basically, state of charge and speeds and the lot. That's the big thing that I haven't, I haven't had. I haven't had any visibility of anything on any screen. Uh, some of the, the wireless, there is a wireless element on the VCU, but it was a bit glitchy. So I'm going to have that. BMS is, I promise, all checked. I've triple checked all the wiring and all that. So that's going to be plugged in and it's going to work. I know it's going to work. It's not going to go pop. The last one went pop, but it only went pop in two cells. Two things. So, and then it's just rear pack. So I redesigned it. Um, I'll go. I'll show you a bit closer what I've done there. But um, that's it. Oh no! Ah, and also cleaning up the rear uh, because it, there was just too many. It was just real messy back there. All the HV. So that's all been done now. So let's take a quick run around. So as I quickly said there, um, the rear is going to be done all tidied up. Um, basically, um, if you remember, I can throw up a picture there of how it used to look, but now it's going to be because of tidying all this up. There's the Tesla high voltage junction box and the, the charger sits on top here. Um, this is all going to be completely tidied up. So I'm going to put a contactor in here for when the char when it's charging. So then it's just disconnected from, yeah, you know, from everything else when it needs to be. So yeah, so. Uh, straight over to this. This is it. This is the concept. Um, I've got a box arriving next week, which this will go into. So you have your negative coming in from the rear pack, comes in here, in through the um, disconnect, uh, and then it shoots off back there into the rest of the, um, the car. And then in this side comes the positive, comes in here, and then it'll run straight through. Uh, sorry, I got that wrong. It actually, sorry, the positive comes through here. Positive comes through here and down and out. And then on this side of it is when the uh, the, the contactor is thrown. It, it basically, that will feed into the charger and all happy. So yeah, down the back, as you can see, hasn't changed much from when we looked at it before. It's gonna be a lot tidier. 
all this a lot of the wiring can be all tidied up uh, there's our BMS wiring ready to go in and then the box that box is going to sit in here and it's going to just look so much tidier you know so quickly running over onto the battery um, as I said totally took that out rebuilt it We've also made it a lot tidier. What we're going to have here is instead of having a big hole in the middle where it used to be, running the negative over here and into the uh, HV connector for off the um, the leaf. So that'll all be built up. So it'll be one, basically one connector coming out. So it'll all be a proper, well, near proper sealed unit. And then what we do is then this, this is the other end. The two cables then, HV will come in there and into that box I was telling you about. Super charger yet to go back in. Interior hasn't really changed much. Um, all I did was get rid of the switch, and now I've got some lovely USB ports. Seven inch screen gonna go there. VCU still messy, but it's fine, it works. Uh, up the front is I did a bit of work here on that. This is where like, so the brains comes in. I've tidied up that to work with the new startup sequence. That all looks good. The front, I've actually run new shielded cable here. It didn't need to be shielded, but it was like, I got a good price on this uh, 50 square. So that's good, it's tough. Uh, it's all nicely well run there. So it'll all be done. And that is it. Is it? I think it is. Uh, and then I gotta put the face of it back on. Yeah, so um i think yeah simple isn't it so that's that um and it's been a long time apologies uh hopefully we'll get to a point where um we'll have this running a lot more regularly and uh, start doing some range testing on it uh, for the t again remember it's 24 kilowatt pack and that's it we'll see what it can do uh, i want to start using it as i originally proposed as a daily driver so uh yeah Let's see how we get on. And there'll be a few other things I'm going to do along the way. I'm going to then put in um, a digital to analog kind of, or vice versa, um, something in there, like an Arduino, so we can then power. So on the, yeah, so on the dash. So Speedo works. We'll do something to get the fuel gauge working. Uh, RPM onto here, and then some temperature as well. Just put that up. Uh, so I remember the temperature on this thing never got above 30, 35. So uh, be good if we can reuse that. Um, that's it. So for now, uh, thanks for coming back and watching this all over again. We'll see what we can do because we've got a date now. Three weeks, the 26th. Today is the... Yeah, today is the 5th. So no pressure. Thanks for watching. See you soon.